Yeah, this evening's press conference providing a lot of positive information for the now tens of thousands able to return home tonight. Containment here going from zero to 35 today, and Acres Burn staying steady at 189. A cloud of smoke lingering in the foothills Sunday. Steve Woody, nope. An eerie landscape behind Elliot Bloom and his two furry family members prepared to spend night two at East Boulder Community Center. Now a shelter for evacuees. It's uh, difficult sleeping on a cot and a gym, nasium, you know, but. Um... You know, it's at least nice to have somewhere to stay. Bloom lives in El Dorado Springs, one of two neighborhoods evacuated. He's one of 19,400 people, 8,000 homes, and 7,000 structures in the evacuation zone. It's high anxiety. Um, being that we've been through this before, it's kind of just, you know, preparedness. Um, I've got my stuff ready. Good planning and preparation also what those tackling the fire attribute their successes to so far. The percentage of containment is just a direct effort from what was done on the ground. What we saw was a really amazing collaborative event where we had so many different agencies come in through this to help us with uh, putting this together and the fact that we were able to affect the uh, initial attack and now moving into the extended attack phase has been a really positive thing. Moving in the right direction to get Bloom and others back soon. I know it's an inconvenience for everybody. We just need to balance the safety of the firefighters, making sure they can get their work done before we get the public back in. And as we told you within the last hour, all of those evacuations are lifted. We do have a call in to Boulder County Sheriff's now asking for confirmation on what might have started this fire. As soon as we get any update, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting live here in Boulder, Nicole Fierro, Fox 31.